My name is Rosemary, and my grit story is all about facing and embracing change. When I was in sixth grade, I had a dog named Max, who incessantly chased cars. Who knows what a dog thinks, but he obviously thought he was bigger and stronger than those 4,000 pound moving pieces of machinery. What was ultimately inevitable took place the day before Christmas Eve, when Max chased a UPS truck and in his fearlessness ended up under its wheels and dying. As my first tragic experience, it was devastating and my introduction to change. My response as a naive middle schooler was resilience. We got another dog years later and did a much better job at training her. In 1996, my grandmother passed away after many years of a failing heart. She and my grandfather both came from Italy to live with us from the time I was two years old. They spoke little English, but love needed no words. And we eventually developed our own language. My Nana Rosina was a saint in mine and my sister's eyes, and the person in my life that reflected Jesus the most. I did not cry at her funeral. I had already shed many moments of tears for many years before, imagining what life would be like without her. In that moment of change, I recognized the gift God had given me to have had such an amazing individual of integrity and love to influence my life. In 2012, I was diagnosed with cancer. I was very healthy and had no symptoms at the time, so it was very confusing and hard to understand why and how that could happen. I spent a lot of time alone with God, listening for His voice inside to direct me and how to manage my treatment. Through this experience, I learned what dependency and surrender actually looked like, and growth took place deep in my heart as I came to understand gratitude for the time I have been given to live on this earth, no matter how long or short it may be. I changed my focus from the future to deeply appreciating and intentionally living in the present moment. Just a few weeks ago, one of my dearest friends and coworkers shared with me that she was moving to another state to be closer to her family and soon to be born grandson. My heart was in direct contrast. Heavy for me, thrilled for her. After 13 years of ministering and doing life together, I really didn't like this change and seriously wanted to just quit. I couldn't imagine moving forward without her by my side. Then God reminded me that change is inevitable, but He remains constant. He is the author of our lives, and our part is to obey. He also reminded me that quitting was not an option, and that He would provide the tenacity to press forward into the unknown, and He promised to be with me and never leave me. Writing my grit story has helped me realize there is no one and done. Grit is a lifelong journey and an exciting adventure when you choose to look at it that way.